Imagine you're cooking dinner with a friend. You're supposed to chop vegetables while your friend handles the cooking. But what if no one planned it out? Both of you end up chopping and no one cooks. Dinner's a disaster. This kind of chaos can happen in work processes too, especially when teams collaborate without clear rules. That's where swim lane diagrams come in. They're a specialized type of flowchart that acts like a dinner task list, making sure everyone knows exactly what they're responsible for. Hi, welcome to Undershare eDraws Off Channel. Today's video will explain what swim lane diagram is, how it works, and why they are the ultimate flowchart for smooth collaboration. By the end of this video, you'll have a basic idea of what swim lane diagrams are and how they work. So next time you're cooking with a friend, you won't end up with a chaos in the kitchen. What is a swim lane diagram? A swim lane diagram, also known as a cross-functional flowchart, is designed to illustrate the processes and functional rules involved in each step of a workflow. It highlights the relationships between various steps in the business process and identifies the responsible functional units for each task. Swim lane diagrams focus on the logical connections between value-adding activities, making it clearer to understanding the responsibilities for each activity. While a standard flowchart outlines the steps of a process, a swim lane diagram takes it a step further by providing a more structured depiction of the scenario. When a process involves multiple entities or functional areas, it can be difficult to track who is responsible for each gap. A swim lane diagram solves this problem by dividing the flowchart into lanes, allowing for a clear view of how tasks are handed off between parties. Typically, swim lane diagrams can be categorized based on three dimensions. Number one, department dimension. This organizes the lanes by departments or roles, clearly indicating the tasks each department or individual is responsible for. Number two, phase dimension. This categorizes lanes by different stages of the process. And number three, activity dimension. In each phase, every activity within a grid is linked to a corresponding department or role to ensure accountability. How to draw a swim lane diagram. Before you start creating your diagram, make sure to clarify the following. Number one, analyze the key logic of the process. Identify all the individuals and departments involved. Determine each person's role, their responsibilities, and how they interact with others. Map out the tasks to be completed and the overall workflow. Number two, define the start and end points. For each functional module, clearly establish where the process begins and where it ends. Remember, there should be only one starting point and one ending point. Number three, identify functional modules and the core path. Ensure the main workflow is clear and easy to follow. Number four, optimize the sequence and consolidate exceptions. Streamline the process to ensure smooth coordination between departments. Address and combine any irregular or unnecessary steps. And number five, base splits and consolidations on logical reasoning. Start with complexity and then simplify. Add first, then subtract. Research relevant processes or tools and ensure that any merging or splitting of workflows is well justified. That's it for your preparation. Now let's explore eDraw.ai's template library and features to quickly create a swimline diagram. First, explore the template library. Browse through the wide variety of templates available in the community. Once you find one that suits your needs, download it and upload it to eDraw.ai. From there, it's easy to customize. Every element is fully editable, so you can adjust the text and style of each block to fit your preferences. Alright, so once you have downloaded the file, head over to eDraw.ai, then click on Get Started. Now click on Recent, and then click on Import to import the file you've just downloaded. Click on Upload Files, and then select the file you've just downloaded. Once it's done uploading, click on Open File to view it. From here, you have full access to the file. You can adjust the text, change colors, change the background, or anything you want. Once you've done editing, you can click on Share to share the file with your team to collaborate. You can invite to collaborate, invite by email, or share the file. And you can allow them to view the file or edit the file. So you can share it with your clients or with your team to collaborate with you. You can also present the file from here or explore the file. You can explore it as an image, PDF, Word, etc. And that's how you create a satisfying swim lane diagram, one of the quickest and easiest methods available online. Before the end, let's take a look at some swim lane examples, giving you valuable insights to guide your own process. This is a swim lane library for management system. And this is an online shopping process swim lane. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you until the next one.